Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we are gonna be checking out the interactions inside of Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So we are now in the Wix Studio editor and I've basically just designed this quick little section here for us to play around with. And for this video, I will say like, I'm just gonna be trying things out and seeing what options there are. And I'll make more in-depth tutorials later on for each different type of interaction. However, you know, I'm kind of just testing this out with you guys in a way. I have this simple section built here and what we're gonna do is come over to our inspector panel and there's gonna be a tab over here for interactions. Now, one thing I do really like about Wix Studio is that there's no longer a design tab. The design settings is now basically in this layout tab, or I guess this one's just called design now, but the design now has layout options like position, adjust, anchor, and size, and all that kind of stuff. So there's no more layout and design tab. They're all in the same one, basically. That is just a small note that I appreciate about Wix Studio. But like I was saying before, let's head on over to the interactions tab. We have five different options here currently. We have entrance, hover, click, scroll, and loop. So for entrance, this is basically what happens when a user scrolls into this section right here. So this is kind of like an editor X and the classic Wix editor where you can set up animations when the user scrolls onto this section. As you can see here with this item selected, we no longer have the animations option here in this toolbar here. And now it's basically just called entrance. So just for fun, let's go ahead and add an entrance one. Here we can see we have tons of different options. We have fade, we have glide, reveal, float, slide, grow, bounce, blur, which this one's pretty interesting. Um, if I go ahead and preview the website, it kind of blurs and then it comes in full focus. I think that's actually a pretty cool one, something we haven't had before, but let's go ahead and delete this one for now. We also have flip, flap, spin, turn, arc, bloom. Uh, let's see what this one does, I think. Okay, so it just kind of grows and fades in. Okay, that one's pretty cool. Then we have shrink. We have wink, that's interesting. That's cool. We have shape, okay, and we have tilt. Uh, let's see what shape does. So, of course, when we select it, we can go into adjust and kind of play with it. With shape, it looks like we have four different options. It looks like we can do a circle, we can do a square, diamond, or oval. Um, of course, we can set the duration, the delay, and easing properties. So let's just go ahead and preview it. Um, what I will say is I wish there was a way to change the direction. Or no, I, no, I guess it, it doesn't need direction. It's just because this text is left aligned that it looks like that. So if I had this text centered, it wouldn't look as bad. But as you can see, there are a ton of different options here. Um, I actually really do like blur, to be honest. And I kind of am interested to see what adjustments we have. So we have the intensity, the duration, delay, and easing. Okay, let's just stick with blur. I think this is actually pretty cool. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and grab the second one here and we'll add another entrance one. We'll set this to blur as well. Um, but typically I like to have things kind of on a delay. So for this one, I'll set it to 0.2. Then I'll grab the paragraph text and we'll add another blur effect. But for this one, we're gonna set the delay to 0.4. And last but not least for this button, we'll add another blur interaction and we'll set this to 0.6. So if I come up to the top of the website and I preview it, when we scroll down, it looks like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. Now I kinda wanna try out a scroll animation or scroll interaction, I should say. So I'm gonna grab this image and I'm gonna come over to scroll, add, and once again, it looks like we have a ton of different options here. We can set it to animate the an, a specific element. So we can have it animate the stack, text, or the image itself. The animation path can be to the design. So we can adjust, so this is where it's gonna end up, um, or we can set it from the design. And then we can choose all of these different options here, like 
parallax slide. We can do shrink. We can move it. Um, I think move might be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and press move and we'll go and adjust it. Inside of this, we'll see different options. So we have the angle. So I think I want to move it up. So we're gonna move it just like this up to zero. The distance, maybe we can make it pretty high. And the animation area basically stands for the viewport. So if we leave it where it is currently, the animation will start when the section is 50% in the viewport. So if I go ahead and preview the website, right now the image isn't moving, but once the section is 50% of the way through the viewport, then the image moves. So what I would maybe do is come into adjust and maybe move this down to like 33%. And you know, it might take a little bit of tweaking because ideally I kind of want the image to start moving immediately, but I don't think if we move it down to zero, um, it might move a little too quickly. So I'm gonna move it down to like 15. And I think that actually looks really, really clean. So I'm actually pretty excited to see all of the cool effects that we can do with scrolling animations. But let's go ahead and grab this little arrow here. I'm gonna flip it around and put it like right about here. Um, with this, I kinda wanna try loop interactions. So we're gonna come over to loop, add this. You can see we can do breathe. We can have it pulse, like basically scale up and down. You can have it spin. We can poke, uh, it can flash, swing, flip, rubber, jello, cross, flap, wiggle, and bounce. I think what I'm gonna try is wiggle here. Okay, so I think that kind of works. So if I just come over here to preview, this kind of works. I will say probably the uh, the arrow I chose to use might make this look a little funky, but it's really cool that we have a looping animation here on the website now. And honestly, I assume that the click and hover interactions are gonna basically be the exact same, but let's just grab a heading one, add a click interaction, grow, shrink, skew, rotate, move, twist, fade, appear, and color. I do think these are all the same from Editor X, but of course we can come in come over here and create a custom animation as well. So we can adjust the opacity, rotation, scale, skew, translation, and we can even edit the design as well. Now, if I go ahead and delete this and come over to hover, I think we will literally have the same things here. But once again, I do plan to make more in-depth tutorials for all of these different interactions here very soon. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.